Hello and welcome back for part four of the tutorial series. Now I got two windows open, and one of one of them is for textures and the models. I have models my models library open right now, and I also have the uh, the updated zip file. Again, make sure you go back to the first video and re-download the zip file if you already downloaded it before. I updated it. I made some changes to the script. You're gonna want to change. You're gonna want to um, read it. just just re-download it. I'm not gonna explain it. I want to make this video as short as possible. All I have to do is show you how to mod modify the, the, the CS file, add the file. Oh boy, modify the modify it, add the files. Boom, done. Simple as that. Can't be any more complicated. What I have to do is replace. I redid most of the work. All right. I even named some nice parts inside the CS file, so it's nice to read. Now. First, just to get it out of the way, let's add the files. If you did what I did in the third, third video, you named it Gun. So open up your models folder. This is how I keep it organized. Drag gun.dds gun in here. Press OK. Gun.dds is here. Now also, well, you probably figured you're going to need a Win, WinRAR opener, and you need to create and um, some 7-zip WinRAR. Something that can open a zip file, because you're going to need to open them. It's just it's part of it. It's just how it works. Also, now, I give you a sound file on your own, just so you don't have to run around looking for a sound file. It's, it's a mini school thing. You don't need to worry about it. It's a decent file. It's sound, anyways. Now we want to add the textures. I have texture library. I don't remember exactly what textures I added other than these three, these four, one of one of the some of those probably not metal three. It's darker. I don't think I used a dark color in that in that. So make sure you add every texture, every texture. I'll show you right now. See, see, it says dimension sixteen by sixteen, and it's a PNG file. Make sure it when you okay. You want to? I'll show you how to make a simple texture. You want to. Like, go to paint, make it open up and make a new. I'm just gonna open up mine to show you. Op make go to paint and file new. Okay, that's my second monitor. All right, file new. All right, you're gonna get this. Now you want to go to resize. Go to pixels. Make it 16 and six. Um. Oh, make the make sure this isn't checked. 16 by 16. Okay. Now you see it looks like when I first loaded it. Now select whatever color you want. I'm going to pick this purple because I feel like it. Actually, no. I'm going to pick this light. No. Dark blue. I don't have a dark blue. Might as well add it. All right, so you got this. I'm going to file. Save it. Now, since it's a new one, now put, it, put the textures wherever you want. I recommend making a library or folder to keep them in. It's easier to keep a track of them. Now make this blue, and it automatically will have it as a PNG. But if it isn't, make sure it is. Make sure you don't replace it over anything. Dark blue. So you got you got your uh, your first texture. Now, all right, that you don't need that anymore. All right, all right. Now you want to open up the zip. I'm gonna include a link in the description to the to a download site to a site where you can download Notepad Plus Plus. This is a big recommendation if you for for CS files. Automatically recognizes types of code. It'll do numbers and certain it it color codes. It organizes so you can drop down certain codes you don't need to see color codes. Like I said, it's just nicer. And you can do multiple ones at a time. And you can all save them at once, so it's easier if you do multiple multiple CS files at once. So it's it's nice. Now you don't need to mess with much. This I'll show you at the end how to how to um, change everything else so it works decently, so it, it matches the name of your gun. Now I already use this bullet that DDS. It's gonna all it's gonna automatically pick up the default gun file. I would add model slash I. Models slash. You know what? I'll just update the file again so I can add it to the first video. Um, if you want to make a custom bullet, 
the same way you make a gun except no joints and you flat shade it and export it just like I did with no animations and damage you can change your damage to whatever you want when it hits the person impact impulse and vertical impulse don't mess with that too much M the muzzle velocity this is a this is something you would want to mess with depending on what you're making I use 200 since anything less is odd that is true even though most of Blockland still uses solar projectiles, I find it weird and it looks like I'm shooting arrows out of my machine gun. It's creepy, so I make it as fast as possible, and I'm still trying to figure out Strata Fortress's um, projectile hack so it makes it quicker. Um, has light. You may want to add that if you want. Mess around with the color codes. Just mess around. And the UI name is what is going to show up in events and other parts of in-game, so you can spawn it or whatever. Name the name of the DDS file so it uploads the name of the gun when you load it it's test gun now and the, just type the same thing in unless you get into two-handed weapons I'm going to show that in part five um, don't mess with this too much the, other than this is the delay of each shot like a machine gun will have a small delay this is probably the average delay of a machine gun I would use but since it's a pistol it's semi-automatic decent Default animations here. Uh, I added a spread code thanks to the ladies. The, unless you do want to mess around with this, I wouldn't do too much to riff it. It's pretty much preset enough so it works decent. Um, activate delay when you equip it, how long it takes before you. Alright, we're back to uh, some technical difficulties. Um, Alright, well. I'll edit this later. I'll re-update the zip. I messed a few things that are that would have messed this up. Um, this is about all you need to know. And also, finally, when you the name of your gun, depending on what you want to go to, well, you want to go and you know what? Just get Notepad Plus Plus, or if you're looking in Notepad find the replace option type in the name type in test which is what I set as default for this and then type in the name of the gun you want it's going to name it um, new gun and re re replace all no the default notepad the default notepad has this option too so not to worry okay. that's generic that's generic this is part of the gun new gun shot sound one this should all load this should all load as new gun. You can change the gun. You can change the name to whatever you want. Don't care. You can name it M16. If you really have a good M16, name it a uh, big gun. I don't. I don't care. Just name like I like I said. It's, it's up to you. You. It's so you. It's your gun. I'm just making you start out easy, so you can do more like what I do. And you want to change it to new gun. So this should this should work. All right. Well, I already have the TDS file, and I'm gonna try it out. Hopefully, it works for you guys. All right. I'll load Blockland. I'll tell you guys how it works. All right. T -t time to clarify something that I didn't earlier. Um, when you rename your weapon, make sure you have to rename a few things also. You have to want to rename the main weapon CS file. It would say here weapon under dash test. You want to make it weapon under dash the name of your weapon. I named it new gun, so you'd want to type like weapon under dash pistol if you named a pistol. That's all you need to do, and then you click yes to um, change under the C on the server not CS. Um, change it, change test to whatever the gun is also. And same thing over here. You have to every, when you rename, make sure every time it's exact. I'll say new gun exactly like this, uppercase N, uppercase G, every time in the CS files. Just for clarification and make sure that uh, everything is registered exactly and perfectly with no problems. And the description file. You want to do this optional description. You want to put who made it, obviously you, or if someone else contributed to it, and then the title of it, which is the name of the weapon or whatever you're making. 
for modding. Pretty much most mods have this, except color sets and music. Others, pretty sure they have them. Otherwise, that's that's news to me. All right, now. All right, now we're gonna try the weapon. Let's see how this goes. All right, hopefully it loaded. Yep, loaded. Look at that, nice and loaded. Fire animation, everything. A little bit of spread, and give it some realism. See how it glows in darker areas. Alright. It's pretty fun using it actually. It's not that bad. But um Just get, give give you a base of how to make weapons in the game. and um, oh, this is it. Next tutorial will show you how to make a two-handed weapon, how to um, work with the script to make it work with the two hands, and some two-handed animations, which we'll get getting the idea of some more complicated stuff. And um, it will technically be a part six should be like before part one, but it's going to show you how to use the basics of milkshake. Probably shouldn't be mentioning this now, because if you're watching this now, you probably did the other few tutorials to get here. But, um, this is, this is it, and I hope you learned how to make a weapon, and you got as far as I did here. And hopefully you get as far as I am in modeling now. To make something, like, let me load it. Maybe it'll load here. Maybe. There's a chance. Nope, didn't load. I'll mention it in the fifth tutorial. Alright, hope you guys get a gun like this. Oh,